You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to town. Me Mia. Oh God, don't be kidding! He's gone. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't begin with this god. Why did he get my spray bottle from? Why did he, why is this why is this this pink thing that is here? Why did he keep the roller? Where? Mia. Where did he keep this roller? Eh? Come my love. You okay? Are you good? Yeah. How was school today? Fine. School was fine. Yeah. Ah, but your energy is out of this mood. Why are you so energetic? Ow, mama! You're hurting me. Mm? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come now, where are you going? No, no. <laughs> It is the way Mia Rose takes off for me. It's the way she runs with those tiny legs. The way she speeds is mad, ridiculous. Come, let's take picture. Adana. Adana. Akina. Akina. Tamara. Tamara. Wawayon. Wawayon. What? What? What name is that? Day Day. Day Day. Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. So, what is today? Today is Wednesday, no, Tuesday. A hot Tuesday afternoon. I just got back from the market. Mm -hmm. I actually have a lot of stuff at home, but I went to the market to just buy a few things and also because I really wanted to make okra soup as well. Um, you guys showed me so much love in my last market like video the one where my meal prep video right um, you guys should love there and you guys really love content like that you know cooking videos market videos and all of that and many of you were saying that um most of the things that i got were cheap compared to where you guys are living i do know that abuja has cheaper food items compared to places like lagos port Harcourt, and other parts of nigeria but then for us here it's still like oh my god <laughs> you know um so yeah I would say yeah things are you know a bit more affordable but at the same time not all fingers are equal as well so people still find those things quite expensive here to buy um the basket of tomatoes for 1500 naira pretty good deal for so many of you you guys said it's as much as 4000 naira in lagos that is crazy but it's one five here at least for now attache and all of those things you know this is more of the northern region so those things come by pretty cheap than other places anyway i did go to the market today i bought a few things i spent roughly about 17k let me just say roughly 20k okay roughly roughly 20k and i just want to show you guys what that amount of money was able to get me in a nigerian market here in abuja i don't know about your location here in abuja okay so my apologies if you are hearing a lot of noise my neighbor just put on his generator so my apologies but let's just do this really quickly okay so i picked up this palm oil i already have palm oil in my store right there but i just picked up like a backup or will i say just extra this bottle goes for 800 naira now in abuja or basically in the market i go to then i got this power oil this is the smaller bottle this one is 25 it is ridiculous how the cost of oil has gone up so much guys i remember when this size of power oil was about 1300 1004 1005 now it is going for 2500 naira ridiculous ridiculous um i got some plantain i haven't been buying plantain so much because of the weather the weather is really really hot and plantain gets bad you know quicker so i don't buy as much but i bought this one today for 1000 naira okay this much for 1000 naira i'm not sure why it's even this much i think it's because the lady i buy from is my customer so she always gives me like extra stuff then i got sweet potatoes i only got half a basket because this is something that we don't really eat as much as well so i just got half a basket for i think it was 400 naira or so a full basket was 800 so i got half for 400 naira i got a packet of nor cubes this is the seasoning i use this is the seasoning i use the main seasoning i use is nor 
and this packet is going for 800 naira now it used to be 600 naira before it's now 800 naira then what else i got okra this is okra because i want to make okra soup i got 400 naira worth of okra and this is what it looks like let me put this in a bowl so i can show you guys what it looks like okay so this is <laughs> 400 naira okra i think it's pretty small for 400 naira um yeah it's pretty small but it will do pretty pretty small but this was 400 naira then i got this i really love using this in my soups this is stockfish and i like buying these ones that come in this pack because i don't know i just like it i prefer it it's fleshy and i just love using it so a pack is like 500 naira yeah it's one of those things that are you know a bit expensive so i usually would do two packs for my pot of soup and i'm good this was of course 1000 naira i got some vegetable the one i use for my soups mostly is ugu um i got this one this is like 200 naira worth of ugu i don't like to put too much ugu in my soups 200 naira is enough for me and it just gives me exactly what i want so 200 naira yeah then i have a mudu of ijebugari here for my husband because he loves ijebugari in fact he sent me a text message and told me babe please buy me one mudu of ijebugari so this was 600 naira for a mudu of ijebugari this is flour um i got a mudu of flour for our pancakes and stuff um this is also 600 naira for a mudu of flour this is ridiculous it used to be 300 350 it's now 600 naira guys flour all purpose flour then i have about three mudus of normal white gari i don't eat yellow gari in my house i just don't like it so i prefer to always get you know regular white gari and i got three mudus of this at 400 naira a mudu i have smoked fish here i love to use smoked fish for my soups these really big ones i buy them for 600 naira each they used to be like 400 before 500 now 600 and then i got for more 500 naira worth of bomo for my okra soup i don't think it was up to twenty thousand naira no it wasn't up to but really close um so yeah anyway let me get to cooking this okra soup and arranging all of these things i i've been waiting all night watch you blow a mile please don't come over because you're not sober yeah now you know that ain't right If you two knew you was coming over That would be a problem yeah. If our friends knew undercover love And they would try to solve it Solve it, yeah Me and you What we do It stays between hey guys hope you guys are doing well so today is thursday and i just got to this place called raffia palm um they invited me over to give me a treat today so i decided to come and check the place out um it's a bit of a i don't know what to call this place but i'm um, kind of excited all right let me show you guys what outside looks like so like it's a proper low-key place okay and i'm excited to see what these guys have to offer but you had me from the start by the way you stare, the way you wrote up for me yeah yeah man i felt your energy wasn't used to being loved and treated differently yeah but something went wrong the signals got crossed and now we're on completely different pages let's go where we were when no one gets hurt baby keep it right there don't you stress the flow you're trying 
trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the fight Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the fight Hi guys, so I just came out of Raffia Palm and I had such a good time here. Um, you know, if you guys know Abuja is filled up with sush, sush restaurants every other day, sush new new restaurants coming out every day. So it just feels good to come to a local spot in quotes and have palm wine. So yeah, it just feels good to come somewhere local that is not a sush spot in Abuja. Do you get what I mean? I had palm wine. I had a dish called Onunu. It's like ripe plantain, ripe plantain with yam pounded together with palm oil with pepper soup on the side. It was really tasty. I also had native rice with meat assorted and all that, but they had to pack that because I only have one stove. I cannot finish all those things. And I still have some palm wine in my nylon and everything, but it was a nice evening outing. If I had company, I would have stayed longer. I don't like going out alone. Like I don't like going to spots alone. If I had company, I would have stayed longer. Yeah, by the way, I'm sure some of you want to know if I had any side effects from the COVID vaccine we took um, sometime last week. Um, not really, I didn't really have any side effects. The only side effect was headache. I was having headache at the back <laughs> of my head, um, but that was just like, the following day and by the end of that day it subsided i didn't feel feverish i didn't feel exhausted i think yeah did we feel exhausted yeah i really felt exhausted because we noticed that we were sleeping the whole of that day we took the vaccine and the following day we were just feeling sleepy anyhow so i feel like that contributed but aside that that was it the pain at the injection site it wasn't really much i told you guys compared to tetanus shots those were that pain was nothing okay um yeah that was it they didn't really have body pains or fever or anything like that just the headache at the back of my head and panadol solved that and that was it back to normal now so um it didn't affect me or my work or anything i had to do in general and um yeah i took the astra zenaka is that what it's called astra zenaka astra zenaka i don't know how they pronounce it but the one that has zenaka so yeah anyway that's that about that let me head home now and um get on with the rest of my day <laughs> so i received this box some days ago and when i saw this box i was just like oh my god who is sending me stuff because i was not expecting anything this week at least anything this big but turns out it was a package from jameson so I am on Jameson's um, PR list, so they always like send me stuff and everything. But most importantly, because there is an event, a Jameson event in Abuja this weekend, um, so they sent me a really big bag of stuff, um, which we shall unbox together. This is the bag. There are a bunch of stuff in the bag. Um, let's start from this. So this is obviously. <laughs> A Jameson t-shirt at this point I think I have like up to three or four Jameson's t-shirts different colors different designs and everything but I'm a t-shirt girl so I'm not even mad at this this is a Jameson waist purse right okay no this is not a waist purse actually I think this is more like a travel toilet bag or something because yeah can you just store makeup or store um you know toiletries if you're traveling or something yeah really nice really really nice over here is a jameson diary i think or journal yeah more like a journal quality of these things are always so good this is oh jameson playing cards oh cards my hobby and i we used to play cards a lot when we first got married we don't even have time to do that anymore but i think we should find time to go back to our love for cards because we used to play cards a lot in our first years of marriage jameson socks see at this point this is like my second pair of jameson socks i know i have one pair never worn them yet and now i have another pair so I will add it to my Jameson socks collection. Nice. This is actually a flash drive, guys. Jameson 16 gigabytes memory stick. So this is a flash drive. So, so cute. Wow, I like this. This is a phone card holder for those that put stuff behind their phones. I don't. And I think I have like one of this as well before. There's an envelope here. I'm not sure what's in there. Oh, okay. Wow, guys. This is what was in the envelope. It's a Jameson beanie hat. Oh, this is so nice. But Nigeria is just damn too hot for this right now. 
we'll wait until we travel to a colder region then we can wear this because it's really thick wow quality is very very good sha the quality is amazing and there is an envelope okay these are my tickets to the event um this weekend there yeah, alma and Guru, it's time to chill and connect and we're bringing the vibes to abuja we want you to come through and share your authentic energy at jameson connect can't wait to see you can't wait to be there i haven't gone for any of the events yet so i am excited for this i have one more one more ticket here and i've asked my husband to accompany me so my husband will go with me for this event on saturday and hopefully i get to see some of you there as well all right so let me just use that to end today's vlog hope you guys enjoyed watching today's vlog my ring light is on by the way because there's no light we are running generator and if i open the windows there'll be too much noise so i have to put on my ring light anyway guys i'll see you guys in my next one hope you enjoyed watching thumbs up subscribe share comment i'll see you guys in my next one Bye. Bye.